In this video, we will show you the avatar face transformation in Wondershare Filmora. First, drop your footage onto the timeline. Next, duplicate it on track 2 and hide track 1. Now, position the playhead where the subject is fully visible. Go to the AI tools and use Smart Cutout to isolate the subject. Once completed, the subject should be visible on track 2. Unhide track 1. Proceed to the color adjustments. Change the temperature to negative 63, tint to negative 16, exposure to 10, brightness to negative 52, contrast to 76, vibrance to 45, saturation to 52, highlight to 47, shadow to negative 16, white to 11, and black to negative 21. Next, go to the HSL settings and make the following changes. Cayenne hue to 73, saturation to 42, and luminance to 65. Select the purple hue and change it to negative 58, saturation to 84, and luminance to zero. Adjust other HSL settings as necessary. Now move on to the curves and adjust the blue curve to achieve a face color similar to avatars. Afterward, select the main footage and add a bit of blue to match it with the subject footage. Duplicate the track 2 footage on track 3 and reset all the color settings, HSL settings, and curve settings to their default values. Place the playhead at the start of the clip and go to the mask. Zoom in on the preview screen and use the pen tool to create a mask around the pupil. Adjust the mask points and add blur strength to it. Set a keyframe on the mask path, then after one frame, adjust the mask position on the pupil. Continue adjusting the mask on every frame until the end of the clip. Duplicate the footage on track 4 and remove the current mask. Create a new mask around the right eye pupil and adjust the mask on each frame. Change the zoom level to fit the composition. Next, select the footage on track 3 and change its blend mode to linear light. Go to the color settings and make the following adjustments. Temperature to 100, exposure to 47, brightness to 3, contrast to 31, vibrance to negative 81, saturation to 23, hue to 100, shadow to negative 5, white to 11, black to negative 21. Then go to the HSL and select the yellow color, changing the hue to 77, saturation to 97, and luminance to negative 56. Now select the green color and change the hue to 94, saturation to 95, and luminance to 74. Repeat the same color settings for the right eye pupil. This will create bright glowing eyes. To create big eyes, go to the effects and apply the BCC bulge effect under Boris FX on track 5, ensuring it has the same clip duration. Adjust the bulge effect settings as follows. Height to 6.5, perspective to 16, radius to 73, taper to 100. Scroll down and launch Mocha Mask. Use the spine tool to create a selection around both eyes. Then track forward, save it, and close this window. Now launch Mocha Motion Tracker, adjust the center point and search area on the subject's eye, and track forward. Save it and close the window. This process will create a big eye effect. Duplicate the bulge effect on another track and repeat the same process for the second eye. Next, go to the particle section and apply particle illusion on track 7. Launch particle illusion and apply a basic emitter. Select the emitter node and go to the shape image. Import the avatar face design PNG, download it from a free source on Google. Change the color to full and select a larger size for the image. Then select Attach to Emitter and Connect to Emitter, scroll down, and increase the size. Adjust the life and decrease the number. Set the velocity and bounce to zero. Then select the Particle node, adjust the opacity, and change the tint color to blue. Fine-tune the tint strength as needed. Increase the life and adjust the number of particles. Place the avatar design on the subject's face using scale on the X, Y, and Z axes. Click on Apply to confirm the changes. Now change the transform to More World plus Emitter, expand the motion tracker, and place the emitter offset and world offset on a suitable place on the subject's face. Track forward, save the tracking data, and close this window. Launch Particle Illusion again and adjust the avatar design on the subject's face. Save it. To remove the extra visible part of the design, go to the Mocha Mask and launch it. Select the Spine tool and create a selection around the subject's face, then track the face. Save the data and close this window. Scroll up and expand the composite section, adjusting the opacity of the face design as needed. 
Now duplicate the footage from track 1 to the top track. Use the pen tool to create a mask on the water and adjust it according to the subject's movement, giving the impression that the subject is going into the water with the mask effect. Now let's render it to see the final preview. If you're interested in more creative editing, check out filmora.wondershare.com.